Assalamu alaikum viewers. How are you? Hope that you are well. I am also fine by the Almighty of Allah. Dear viewers, welcome my English channel. My channel, English channel name is Monarol's English Teaching Center. Okay, welcome everyone. Dear viewers, uh, I already, uh, I will take a class, uh, it is a very important class. Today's class, the name of Subject Verb Agreement. Okay, dear viewers. This class will be very important for the class uh, 6 and uh, 2, 12 or uh, maybe the college level. Okay. Dear viewers or my dear students, do you know that uh, already I have taken a previous day the uses of verb and verb and so on. Today I am gonna take subject verb agreement. Dear viewers, before starting my PS uh, class, at first I am giving you my introducing. This is me, Muhammad Munarul Islam, assistant teacher in English at Cesar Parabuljan High School, Shanatala Pogura. Dear viewers, uh, now I don't uh, prolong my, I don't like to prolong my session. Uh, please take a look at the board. Come on the, board. come take, uh, come on the point. Okay, dear viewers. Here I am giving you subject verb agreement. At first I am telling you and I asked you the question what is called subject verb agreement before taking class each definition should be needed. Okay. Uh, subject verb agreement. If you want ask me the questions what is called subject okay. If I know described any kind of matter or to the point of any matter and when we point any topic and we describe about the topic is called subject. Then verb. Do you know that I have already discussed about the verb. Verb means action. Okay. Then agreement that means the deed or contact. Okay. In a words, uh, I can give you the definition that. Okay. Subject of agreement. Okay. The answer is the verbs agree with the subjects in the person and number. Okay. We, uh, that are called subject verb agreement. Here, dear viewers, I think if you watch this class, of course you will learn about the matter of the topic of subject verb agreement. This topic very helpful for making sentence for different types of classes, especially for 6 to 7, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12, as well as related different types of sentence making for English. Okay. Dear viewers, I have already given you the topic uh, step by step here. Okay, here I am also giving you the topic in exceptional and unexceptional. Okay, dear viewers, already I have also given you the topic number one maybe as a B verb. Okay, here I am giving you B verb. And do you know that most of the viewers are my dear student do uh, notice that and maybe you tell what is B verb? Okay, there is M is or was where. Do you know? Of course, you know it is a or they are B verb. Okay, okay. Yeah, I am also giving you the example. Uh, I am oblique are Bangladeshi. Here, answer is M because not R. Here, not R because you know that it is exceptional. That's mean. Uh, miscellaneous okay different style here i we know that first person singular subject then we should give the verb okay we should give the verb uh, of course after i we should give the verb m okay not we used r because we know that first person singular subject after we should give the m it should be remembered that when we make sentence it is very essential Okay, number, uh, next number example, we, I also given two types of B verbs in brackets, am or oblique are Bangladeshis. Yeah, dear viewers or my dear student, please think that what types of answers should be here. Okay, their answer should be with maybe the first person plural. So, the verb will be plural. It is, it, it is exceptional. No, it is easy. And it's regular rules. So we then answer will be R. We are okay. Okay, dear viewers, I am also given you the topic in, uh, in uh, definitely that 
Eve, always remember that. that it's Shmoshad Nebi. Okay, dear viewers, okay, before, after, uh, before this, I also give a, a great information that if, always remember it, if the subject is singular, of course, we should give the verb is singular, and, and if subject is plural, of course, verb will be plural, it should be remembered always, but there, at first topic, part one, uh, I also given exceptional and unexceptional rules here and what types of subject and verb may be given here and part 2 will be give uh, an another rules these rules have given a clear option for for so the similarity between subject and verb okay it is the primary step it should be remembered here uh, as two types example as a do verb do you know that do does did what is called do verb? Okay, do verb they are, do does did. Here, I also give the example that uh, I do does the word not does here. The answer will be maybe I do. The if uh, the first person will become, then do object does only use. Of course, definitely we use the answer is do, not does. Okay, okay, it should be remember, remember it is uh, in exceptional rules. Okay, then he in a bracket do or does that's the do her the sum is really not do we don't use not do because after the subject he or the uh, third person singular we should give the third person uh, singular verb okay here he does answer will be answer will be does okay not do we, we use okay dear viewers as a have verb have has had okay uh, here I also give the example I in a bracket has or big has okay a new fan not has here first person singular subject so we should give the another exceptional um, uh, verb original verb okay I have okay we should be remembered the answer is have we should be remember it uh, okay here we cannot use uh, after the subject of I has okay I think you have got it okay clear Number uh, another example he in a bracket has slash have a new friend not have after the subject we should be used the answer is has okay because if the third person singular subject will become answer will be the have but when you use we should give the answer is third person singular verb that's mean has it is a I think it's a uh, very clear uh, topic for you it is a primary level if any student cannot if any viewer cannot know it he or she make he or she doesn't make a sentence easily and the sentence will be mistakes so we should be careful about it dear viewers uh, uh, today i don't like to prolong my speech uh, my speech anymore and my class okay uh, as well as <coughs> i also uh, tell you that if any class or any uh, help in english will be needed please contact with me uh, here i also given the mobile number Zero one seven three seven five three three zero eight seven. Dear viewers, uh, thank you so much for watching my video. Keep well. Uh, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.